On May 31st, Ross Garneau presented his final climate change report to Prime Minister Gillard. Speaking logically, there are four options. If it were accepted as the basis for legislation, and if that legislation became law, and if everything worked just ticky-boo, then we could expect to see 5% cuts in emissions by 2020. Since the scientists are saying we need 25 to 40% cuts on a 1990 baseline, well, then we're screwed. If it were not accepted as the basis for legislation, the whole problem would be kicked back to the multi-party climate change committee and the emissions would keep a climbing while we kept perseverating. Well, then we're screwed. After the next election, the new government keeps the legislation. It's option one, a year or two hence. Well, then we're screwed. Or alternatively, after the next election, the new government overturns the legislation. Well, then we're screwed. So, what do we do? We prepare for all four options. We don't lie to ourselves that getting the legislation around a price on pollution is an adequate goal, or even much of a stepping stone towards adequate goals. This problem is the result of over 200 years of using the atmosphere as a sewer. We ain't going to fix it overnight. <laughs>